Hello, my name is Chris Mouflard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level five. I'm going to show you how we filter our view sets in the Gantt chart view. The aim of this vignette is to discuss the Vico Schedule Planner Gantt chart view features and how we activate them in the Gantt chart view. Let's start by navigating to the Gantt chart view in our side navigation bar. For the sake of the exercise, let's break down the layout piles task into its task parts and its subsequent activities. One of the quickest way that we can start by filtering the Gantt chart view is by right clicking and selecting the edit columns. Within this dialog, we have the opportunity to adjust exactly what we see and what we display in the Gantt chart view. Let's start by unchecking the current duration and current start and current end time view settings. We can also check the free float and criticality view sets to add them into our Gantt chart view. We can also select and use the arrows to adjust the sequence in which we see our different view sets. We can also adjust the alignment that we present them in their columns. Let's click OK. As you can see we have moved the unit column to be next to the quantity column and the duration column after that. Another simple way of modifying this view is by also right clicking at the hierarchy and using the sort schedule view to time order. Let's keep an eye on the strip and finish of the power caps task. Note that it has been slotted in appropriately after the concrete power caps task. Let's start by heading to the Gantt chart view taskbar. Let's pull it out and isolate it somewhere in the Gantt chart view. We can use these tools to quickly edit the hierarchical order. For instance, we often show that the tasks are on top, but we can also use the locations on top to highlight the different locations which we have established in our location systems manager. Let's click OK to check this out. As you can see, we have split this out into both the substructure and superstructure location systems. We can use the, let's highlight both of these location systems and use the plus arrow to open up the different task parts that exist within them. Note that when we open up the hierarchy to the full extent, we can now see all the individual task, task parts, parts and, and activities act which exist within them. Let's edit that back and use the and tasks use on top. Again, we can use the control A function as a bit of a quicker method and the minus symbol to close our tasks to the highest hierarchy. Our next method of modifying the Gantt chart view is to be able to show or hide task parts that exist within different tasks. As you can see, when we activate this function, we are now showing the different task parts that exist for all the pile caps activities. Again, let's break down the layout piles task. And let's use the show or hide task parts. Again, as you can see, we can now break these down even further into the associated task parts. With our tools, we can also edit the dependency arrows. The dependency arrows are the links that signify the logic relationships between each task. For the sake of the exercise, let's modify the critical dependency links and use a different color. As you can see, the critical task which, links which exist is. between each task have now turned into our new color. We can also edit the sight lines. The sight lines are the lines which depict the amount, which depict the duration markers within the schedule. Let's select a dashed, let's select a dashed sight line for the weeks and adding a different color. And let's select a dotted sightline for the months and again in a different color. Click OK to set our new sightlines. As you can see, the sightlines which appear and, and depict the months have altered in the Gantt chart view. If we would like to, we can use Control A to select all the activities and using the edit bar texts function, we can modify exactly what we show in the Gantt chart view. In this instance, let's add the name of the activity and the duration. As you can see, we have also modified this in the Gantt chart Gantt. view. We also have a quick key here, which allows us to edit the columns if we require. Finally, if we right click on the calendar at the top part of the Gantt chart view and select the properties function, we are able to modify the timeline selection. At the executive level, 
I would often recommend showing the top in years, the center in quarters, and the bottom in months. However, when we're looking at the management or tactical level of the schedule, I recommend using the month and the and week the and starting from the first day of the week. Keep an eye out for what happens when we click OK and we're looking at the top of the schedule. We have changed from total number of weeks in the year to the beginning of the week in the month. In this vignette, you have learned that we can show tasks by location in the Gantt chart view to emphasize continuity. We've also learned how to edit the Gantt chart view to isolate quantities, resources, risks, and other view settings to enhance the understanding of the schedule. We've also learned that we can add extra information into the Gantt view to enhance the presentation of the Gantt bars and the background.